Howdy, welcome to Macho Life. A late one, again. Like, I'm recording this on a Monday. <laughs> the Monday after is supposed to be uploaded. That's been happening a lot because of school and work. Um, just haven't had time to really record uh, in the middle of the week and stuff like that because I'm busy working on stuff, stuff like that. I'm pretty tired right now. I even took a nap earlier on the floor. Uh, cause I was playing with my cat and then I fell asleep. Well, it's not my cat, my little brother's cat. You know what I really love? These are, these are my second favorite of the donuts, but the frosted ones, the chocolate ones, amazing. The devil's frosted ones, where it's chocolate inside and chocolate on the outside, are my favorites. So good. I, I love them. And of course I got some, uh, Slim Jims here. Gotta love my Slim Jims, man. I love them. Uh, don't want to eat too many, though, or <laughs> it starts to starts to really mess with you. Um, anyways, I want to show you guys something real fast. Hopefully, you guys can hear it. I'll turn it up just for a little bit. Let me go. Sh let me go shut my door, actually. Um, oh, well, I was looking through the crack earlier of my door. My door's cracked open a little bit over there in my seat. And my and the cat, he's I can see him looking at me. I'm like, he he wants a snack, doesn't he? He's being a little jerk. <laughs> Did you just give me camera kisses? What are you doing? Hey, sniff feet. Sniff my foot. No? Okay. <laughs> that was exciting. Oh! I've been away from Cheez-Its for too long, guys. Finally got myself some white cheddar Cheez-Its. So good. Oh my god. I love them. Okay, back to this. I'll show you guys this right now. Alright, I'm gonna hit play. Hey, nice lag, bro. Nice lag, bro. I just wanted to play that because that's my little brother from two or three years ago. The high-pitched voice. This is, you know, the very kiddish squeaker voice. That was my little brother. And it makes me laugh every time I hear it because, man, he sounds a lot different now. But he's at a friend over right now, so I'm not going to bother him for the video or anything like that. All that good stuff. I'll just talk about my week, of course. Um, I didn't really watch a lot of anime this week. I'm trying to catch up on the YouTube videos I watch. So I watch a lot of Game Grumps and I've been watching a lot of Let's Plays. Lots of Let's Plays. Um, watch a little bit of anime and I watched the new episode of um of course One Punch Man English dub and then today I'm gonna watch the new episode of Mob Psycho 100 because they're they're new stuff like that all that good stuff um and I finished Soul Eater Not that's that's all the anime I watched but uh of course I had tons of school work and stuff like that going on super fun I've been playing the crap out of this game and uh, a little bit of Overwatch, I played that. Uh, it's called Adventure Capitalist. Uh, it's you're, it's just a game where you make tons of money. I have 2.5 quadrillion dollars, Earth dollars. Um, let me see what I have for moon dollars. What's my moon dollars? Um, I have, wow, holy moly. I have 32.484 quintillion moon dollars. That's insane in the membrane. Now, let's see how many Mars dollars I have. And those are the only three planets that you make all this money for. Okay. I have 644.9 quadrillion dollars, Mars dollars. Pretty, 
nuts when you think about it. It's pretty crazy. Okay, just upgrading my stuff right now. Okay. Back to the noon, because I need to do some upgrading there later. So I can make more money. You gotta spend money to make money. It is it is super cool. It is a it is a fun game. And it makes money while you're offline. You know, you're not your play your game doesn't have to be on or running or anything like that. It's solely based on your profile and how much time has passed and all that good stuff. So it makes money super fast. Like right now, you can see those green bars. Um, that one that's going super fast at the very top is making $36.449 billion in under a second. In under a second, it's doing that. You, when you start the game, have to press square to load the money making process over and over again. But then you can buy managers who do it for you, so the game automatically does it for you. Super cool. And I'm making all kinds of money. I plan on getting all the trophies for this game, and then I'll probably just let it run in the background. I'll get it on it every once in a while and do all that good stuff because it's pretty, it's pretty neat. I'm having a good time with it and all that good stuff. And, of course, trying out a little bit of Overwatch um, and all that good stuff. Of course, doing schoolwork, having a good good time at school been having fun um my in my photography class we spent an entire day doing one shot last week one or as a class it was like a class shot we were doing a commercial like uh it's commercial photography class so we spent the entire time so the, an hour and a half getting one shot really good which in reality there's shots that last an entire week sometimes in the commercial photography world um so uh, but usually it's just like a day or two you can shoot all day for one uh photo that's going to a magazine or something and my eye man has been bothering me today excuse me real fast while i rub it a little bit dang i know it's been really annoying me work was pretty good this week it's pretty good I had a good time. There's a little, there's a little bit there whenever my chest was bothering me at work on Sunday, but it went away. Uh, it went, and then I got back to like normal after I ate. It was super cool, all that good stuff. I like, I like whenever it works and it's all good stuff like that. Makes me feel good. Um, I bought Captain America: Civil War. Uh, I'm gonna be watching that. You know, I bought it on DVD because that's what my family likes to watch stuff on because we don't actually own a blu-ray player i have a ps4 and a ps3 of course but um we don't have one downstairs and we watch all of our movies downstairs which we're fine with watching them on dvd because it's not it's not super awesome hd looking and stuff but it still looks good because hey you know what are you gonna do what are you gonna do it still looks good so it doesn't it doesn't matter all that much and Trying to think if there was anything that else that came out that we were wanting to buy. I mean, I yeah, I can't really think of can't think of the other stuff. Uh, season twenty of South Park started. The first episode was called Member Berries, and it was an amazing episode. I loved it. It was so good. Uh, South Park just man, uh, no one is safe from them. They will they will uh, make fun and make jokes. And say anything about anything. And it's great. I love it. I love that kind of humor and comedy. It is my cup of tea. That's for sure. It is a freaking blast. I had so much fun watching just that one episode. I was like, this is amazing. <laughs> so, I can't wait till this Wednesday for the new episode of South Park. It's going to be awesome. Cannot wait. But, I have no class tomorrow. Uh, I was going to stream on Friday, but that didn't happen. Then I was going to stream on Saturday. That didn't happen. I'm going to stream later tonight. I'm going to stream some Destiny because the new Rise of Iron DLC for Destiny comes out tomorrow. I haven't played Destiny in like six months. And I love Destiny, so the fact that I haven't played it that long is like mind-boggling to me. Because I really do. I'm one of those people who actually really likes Destiny. So I'm going to play that. And then uh, I'm going to play a bunch tonight. And then Rise of Iron will come out and I'm going to be playing that. That's going to be my... That's probably what I'll be playing... Uh, I'll be playing a little bit of other games too, but I'll be playing probably mostly Destiny until 
I'll be playing Destiny mostly until Battlefield 1 comes out, and then I'll be playing that. Uh, so, I can't wait. I'm going to have a good time. I'm going to have a really good time. Let me see. Dang, man. Upgrading stuff on here takes a while. I'm not going to lie. Uh, for the moon. Don't know. I don't know why, but the moon just, it's super expensive. That's for sure. Uh, sorry. Back to what I was talking about. What was I talking about? I can't believe it. I forgot what I was talking about. You guys are <laughs> disappointed. Oh, man. What was I talking about? Oh, Destiny. Uh, and next and tomorrow, the day it comes out, the new Rise of Iron DLC. Guess what? I have no class, so super cool. Both of my classes are canceled because of something called Company Day going on. So I'm super happy and we'll be at home probably streaming and making videos all day long. Probably playing Rise of Iron and all that good stuff. And I'm super excited and super happy. I'm going to have a freaking blast. It's going to be so much fun. I cannot wait. And oh boy, man, I'm just so, I'm so dang excited. I'm going to have a really good one. Like, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be great. I cannot wait. <laughs> I I really do like Destiny that much. But I need to get back into it, warm up to it a little bit before the DLC comes out because I don't want to be terrible. You know, I, I'd like to... And plus, there's probably new stuff that I've missed in the last six months, so maybe I can get those done before Rise of Iron starts. I don't know. Uh, but hey, since I have no class tomorrow, I can stay up late if I want to and do that. So that'll be cool. <clears throat> and of course, I can drink some more of my best damn cherry cola, which is an ale of a sort. So um, the first bottle that I had, I've only had one bottle out of my six, out of the six pack, and I bought it like, I don't even know how long ago. Um, but I checked the expiration date and everything, so we're still good. We're good. Um, but I'm just not really, you know, I, I'm going to try alcohols, different kind of alcohols, just to try them, just to see what all the fuss is about with certain ones, you know, like, okay. Like, there's one that my grandpa really wants me to try. It's a drink at Red Lobster, an alcoholic beverage called the Bahama Mama. Uh, says it's really good. So, next time I go eat a Red Lobster, I'm going to order me some salmon, and I'm going to order me some uh, Bahama Mama. So, we're going to have a good time. Uh, I'm going to try that. But hey, I'm going to drink probably one of those best damn cherry colas tonight while I'm playing Destiny, streaming, having a good time. I'm going to have a blast. I'm not going to stream everything I'm doing. You know, I'm not going to I'm not gonna do that because I can work on my... Uh, I'll just do like the quests and stuff. Or maybe I'll... Maybe what I'll do is work on like... See, I don't know what I want to stream for Destiny. I'll figure it out. What I'll probably do is play Crucible when I'm not streaming, because I hate playing Crucible when I am streaming, and then I'll do everything else when I am streaming. Or maybe I'll just stream like all night long and all that good stuff. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm just excited to play it again and all that good stuff. Um, oh, and today is something cool. Uh, Modern Warfare Remastered will now be... Uh, I believe if I read the headline right, will be sold separately. You can play it separately, get it separately from Call of Duty and, uh, Infinite Warfare, which uh, that means Infinite Warfare sales are probably going to drop a little bit because that's the only reason I think people were getting, uh, some people were getting Infinite Warfare was for Modern Warfare Remastered. I was one of those people. Um, but, I mean, of course I'm going to give Infinite Warfare a try. I've played Call of Duty for so long now since I was... The first time I ever played Call of Duty, I was 12 at a friend's house. And then when I first got my PS3, the first Call of Duty um, that I actually got and played online and had a blast playing and stuff like that was Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. That was also the first Call of Duty I played when I was over at this friend's house. And I was really good at it. So I was like, okay, sweet, cool. I liked playing it because my friend that I was staying the night with he loved Halo, it was, we were playing Halo 3, and he was better than all of us at Halo. There was four of us there, there was, and we, you know, all, it was two of my best friends and then this friend we were staying the night with. Um, he's still a good friend of mine and all that good stuff. He's just not one of my best friends. I have three best friends, so I have three or four, 
I don't know really exact the exact number, but I guess my three oldest uh, friends, like my three friends from preschool, um, two of us were at this friend's house. So uh, two of my best friends from preschool. So really three of us from preschool were over at this friend's house. I, who cares? Whatever. We were playing Halo 3, and he was really good at it because that's like all he played. Mostly, most of the time he played Halo 3, and man, he was, uh, he was good at it. And, um, I was, like, I, I was still pretty good at it, but I wasn't on Zach's level. Um, he, he was pretty dang good at it. But, I annihilated him in Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, and it was my first time playing. I was like, skittish. No, I wasn't bragging or anything like that. I was just having fun. I was like, man, it's a lot more fun whenever... Because I've, you know, been getting kind of, not wrecked, but I wasn't winning in Halo 3 at all. I was just like, oh my god, I'm like, I'm tired of losing. So, when we switched over to Call of Duty, and I did nothing but win, it felt good. And all that good stuff. I was like, awesome. This is awesome. I love it. And we were playing the old school free-for-all mode. So, you have more health and stuff like that. He was, all, he was picking up guns, trying to kill me and stuff. I just had my M9 just killing him just over and over again not picking up guns i was picking up guns but i was running out of ammo really fast from you know killing him so many times so then i'd have my m9 you know that's all i had left uh kind of a thing uh wait is that how old school free-for-all even worked maybe if you picked up a gun that's the only gun you had i don't remember it was a really long time ago maybe it was just like i didn't really like any a lot of the guns i did not like so maybe i just kept going with the m9 because I am, uh, I really do like handguns. I really like pistols. So, I don't know. I think I just wanted to use the M9. No, that's 12 year old me. That's a long time ago. I was 12 and I made my YouTube channel. I didn't start by uploading to my YouTube channel until I was like 14 or 15. But when I was 12, I made my YouTube channel to comment and like videos and stuff like that. Um, which I never even really comment very often. I'm more of a lurker. I'm one of the guys who just. Watches the video, enjoys it, leaves a like, done. You never never see a comment from me. It's very rare. You know? Just, just very rare. Sometimes I'll scroll through the comments and I'm like, oh my god, this is complete AIDS. And I I uh, don't comment anything because I'm like, I don't need to get in the middle of this because it'll be insane. Okay, 7 minutes and 41 seconds. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um... And what was I, what was I try, trying to talk about before all this? Oh yeah, the Bi Bioshock uh, collection came out, which I will be getting eventually to play on Game Taters and stuff like that. Um, there'll be more Game Taters coming out this week. Um, not to, I don't think I'm uploading one today though, but there will be more later in the week. Um, I went over the weekend, my um, aunt, uh, she's my aunt by marriage, um, but no, she's, she's my aunt. Um, uh, her dad died on Saturday, which is super, uh, super sad. Uh, but she got to see him, I think, like, uh, a day or two before because they wanted, you know, she wanted to go see him and, uh, they went and saw him before they went to wherever they were going. And I think she was pretty glad she did before, you know, he passed away and that's good. Um, and luckily I have this Sunday off which is the day of the funeral, so I'm going to be there for my my two cousins and her, my aunt, because that's my two cousins. That's their that's their grandparent, and yeah, that's their grandpa, and then it's my aunt's dad. So I I'm a I'm a family guy. I like I like my family. You know, I my family. There's some cool cool members of my family, so I like hanging out with them. And of course, I'm going to support them in a time like this. So it just happens to be that I took next Sunday off. Uh, like last, like last month, I took it off because I wanted a day off, and it's that day, so it means I can go. So that's that's cool. I'm glad I can uh, to be there for family and stuff like that. He was a really cool guy. So um, it was. Uh, it's just you know it just happened and things like this happen, and uh, I'm gonna be there to to support my family members because. Uh, stuff like this, you know, it, it sucks, it happens, but it still sucks. It's crappy stuff. Um, I know I was super devastated when my, my grandma passed away. 
So I don't I I don't know if if their level of sadness is uh, like my my cousins. I don't know if their level of sadness is the exact same as mine. I could say it's either the exact same or pretty dang close, because I mean I get really uh, I'm one of those really attached people. I really like my family a lot. So um, I'm actually a pretty sensitive guy. I I don't admit that very often, but. Yeah, uh, I I can I can have a good cry every once in a while. So uh, only when sad stuff happens, though. Like the Fox and the Hound, it gets me every freaking time I watch it. Um, heck, I cry in Forrest Gump whenever Forrest asks if his son if he was smart or if he was like him. I was, I, I get teary eyed. I'm like, I don't know. There there's things that get me, you know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the. I didn't really know how to, it was just, yeah, it was a, it was a bad day when, when my grandma died. And there's certain people that I know it's going to be on that level of, of sadness. Really, most of my family is going to be on that level of sadness, like, uh, because I'm really close to a lot of my family members. So, yep, I'm going to be there for them for that. I didn't know the guy very well, but from what I did know, he was a cool guy. I didn't really hear him talk a lot because, I mean... Uh, even in his obituary, they say it's like he was a man of many words, but whenever he did talk, it was worth listening to. He was also a really funny guy, uh, and his reasoning for not talking a lot was because, well, he lived in a house with three women. He had his wife and his two twin daughters, so <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he, that's probably why he never got a word on <laughs> That was... Uh, I thought that it, the obituary was a good one, the, the, what was wrote, what was said. It was a really good one. It was a it was a cool one. But enough about all that good stuff. My that was that was just my week kind of, you know, school video games, watching let's plays from from Rooster Teeth, watching that stuff. Uh and then, you know, they were figuring out the funeral stuff and I was like, "Well, I hope it's like I hope it's an afternoon so I can go because my classes are usually in the morning. Oh my, most of my classes are in the morning, so it's like hopefully it's in the afternoon so I can go to the funeral. Then it ends up being on a day when I, uh, when I have no work. You know, I have a day off. It's like okay, well that works out great. I can go to church like I wanted to, get, have some free time at home, go to the funeral, be, be there for them for a little bit, and then go back home and probably play more games and then school the next day. All that good stuff. But anyways, uh, um. Oh, and I, I figured out my grade to my intro to visual arts, my first exam. I got a, it wasn't a seven. No, it wasn't a 79. It was, I think it was like, it was an 80 or 81. It was close to 79. Um, I think that's what it was first, and then she changed the grade. I guess maybe there was a curve. Maybe it was 79 originally. For some reason, I remember 79, but I don't think that's it. It was 80 or 81, so it was a low, low B. Uh, but she's getting the, we have like discussion posts in that class that she has to grade, so that'll bump it up, because I answered all three, so uh, that'll bump it up, it'll, so I'll probably have like a mid, I'll have like a, like a B, so like a middle B, you know, or middle or high B, so all that good stuff. Plus, I didn't really study for this first one, this first test. Um, but because it's art and stuff like that, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to study for these other ones, at least a little bit more than I did with this one. So instead of like 30 minutes of studying, I'll study for like an hour or two, and then I should be fine. But yeah, um, I also, uh, oh, I've also been catching up on my buddy Levi's videos on his wizard life, and I believe now, because I have not watched his newest one, I believe he's changed the name of his vlog series. He tried something new, so I need to go watch that and see what that is because I haven't got a chance to watch it yet. So I'm going to do that and uh, see how it is. And um, I kind of wanted to be in, I kind of want to make some changes to mine too because I'm literally just sitting here holding a camera to my face while I sit in a chair and talk. Um, expect more, uh, more adventurous type vlogs in the future. I'm going to try to make them a little bit more adventurous and not just me sitting talking about my week, but actually recording some of the events that happened in my week, even if it's like a short clip of what's going on. But see, here's the thing. I forget to do that. 
I will take my camera with me to do this stuff and I forget. And that's why you see this right now, me sitting here talking to the camera because I forget to actually do that. So if I can remember, you guys will see more of that stuff. If I don't remember, you'll see stuff like this. Um, but hey, it's, it's whatever, we'll, fig we'll get it figured out. Also, um, I was talking to a friend of mine who moved recently and he was talking about the traffic there and I was like, Let just, I'm like, don't even get me started on traffic. And uh, my friends who have, rode in, who have rode with me and whenever I drive and stuff, they know how much I hate other people on the road. Like I, I get angriest when I'm driving. I have huge amounts of road rage. So, um, yeah, my friend was talking to me about how much I would hate it. I hate the traffic here. I hate the people that, because they're so stupid. I'm like, I probably would. I'm like, it's people are the people that I have to deal with on the road are lucky murderers of sin. Because man, like I gotta control myself. I'm like, mm, 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 mm. I get bad road rage. <laughs> really bad. <clears throat> and my friends know this. So it's a side that not a lot of people have gotten to see of me. Um, and probably a good thing. Uh, but uh, now it's going to turn into a bad thing because I have, a, I have a GoPro. And I can set up this GoPro to a suction cup dealio that I can put on the inside of my truck. So I'm probably going to do that. I'm going to set up my GoPro inside of my truck. So you guys can see me when I'm driving. You can see what I'm talking about. I also sing songs, you know, that I'm listening to and dance along to them, like What is Love and stuff like that. Sing along to songs. So you guys might see little tidbits of that. Uh, but mostly you'll see Road Rage because that's mostly what I'm doing the entire time is being mad at other people because they're idiots. They're just, they're just terrible. But according... And they're, and they're Kansas drivers. Like, there's Missouri drivers. They're not very good either. But Kansas drivers, mine is... Oh, my God, man. Like, I, I, I like Kansas, but by golly, people don't have to drive there. They are idiots on the road. They're probably very, really nice, smart, normal human beings outside of a vehicle. But when they're in a vehicle, they might as well be Helen Keller. Because, God, oh, my God. I'm getting, I'm getting mad just thinking about it right now. It's just super annoying. Pisses me off. Oh my gosh. It's, it's terrible. It's so terrible. And then there's Iowan drivers, Iowa people, idiots out wandering around. They're bad. But apparently the worst drivers in the world, according to something that I saw, Bostonians are the worst drivers. So I know what I will never drive in because I think... Kansas drivers are terrible, and Iowa drivers are awful. If there's something worse than them, and that's Bostonians, I will never, I'm not even going to go to Boston for that reason. Like, forget it. No, I'm not going to Boston if I might kill somebody out of rage. And I don't just get road rage when I'm driving. I get road rage when I'm sitting in a vehicle with friends or family or thinking about it or talking about it. I'm getting mad right now. Um, or just walking down the street and seeing people who don't know how to drive, and I get mad. I'm like, because, oh my, I can't, I can't handle the stupidity. It's, it's really bad. I need to calm down. I need to calm down. I think I really do. Or people learn how to drive, but that's not going to happen, so I need to calm down. I will, I will have to calm down before people learn how to drive correctly. Anyways, we're going to get off that. I'm going to go. I'm going to go chillax. I'm going to watch some videos and edit some videos, record some videos, play some video games and get my mind off of that cuz I'm mad now. Um, so thanks for watching much love guys. You guys have an amazing rest of your day/week or month or whatever. Just have, you know, have a good one. And uh toodaloo.